Hi, everybody. We're Hi, Pastors everybody. Larry and Tiz Huck, and welcome to today's broadcast. Yes. Today, again, we're talking about the miracle yes. power of God. And I, I don't say that lightly. No. The miracle God has waiting yes. for you and how you can tap into that Amen. and receive a miracle by the moment. Yes. Let me start off with this. When we first moved to Dallas, I had to get a new doctor and I went in and got all these tests and everything done. And the doctor looked at me and said, and she's still my doctor, she said, you are a prime candidate because of your family history mm. to receive a heart attack. And I said, and she's a Christian. Mm. And I said, have you ever heard about breaking family curses? And she said, oh yeah, we're teaching a book right now on that <laughs> in, in our life groups in our church. And I said, well, I know the guy who wrote that book. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk to you about yes. not only breaking yes. family curses or breaking any curse Amen. that's tried to come against yes. your life, yes. but we're going to show you by miracles by the moment Amen. how to not only break the curse, but reverse yes. the curse yes. because we serve a God Amen. that is almighty God. Yes. Stay with us. Tiz and I want to cover you yeah. with miracles by the moment. We're Pastors Larry and Tiz Huck. We want to welcome you to our YouTube channel and invite you to subscribe and be a member of all the resources that we make available to you. We're talking about miracles by the yes. moment, folks, and that's why we wrote the book. Most of you know this, mm. but just to, just to lay down the foundation yeah. for those of you that don't yeah. know it. Four and a half years ago, our grandson at seven months, baby lion, was diagnosed with quote unquote incurable leukemia. He just celebrated his fifth birthday. Yes. At Amen. the same time, or a few months later, Tiz was diagnosed with um, ovarian cancer. And after eight hours of surgery and we ended up going into the doctors, they gave her three months to live. Now, let me say this, with lion, they said, we're going to test him for this certain gene. And they didn't tell us until later, almost everybody has this negative gene. Yeah. When they finally call this back in, and we talk about this in detail, and we talk about what we're going through when we hear this yeah. and how we go through that. That's Amen. why we wrote this book, yeah. Miracles by the Moment. They called us back in and says, not only does Lion not have the, the, the negative gene that almost everybody in the world yes, has, yes. but Lion has a gene, and they said, we checked with the heads of children's a cancer around the world. Yeah. There is no medical history of anybody Lion's age having this positive gene. Yeah. So God not only broke the curse, yeah. but reversed the Amen. curse. With Amen. Tiz, they said, we need to bring your children, your sons, your daughters, your grandsons, your granddaughters in to have them check because Tiz, you have this negative gene that will pass this cancer on yeah. to generations. They called us back in. They said, we checked it, but we're gonna have to check it again. Yeah. They called us back in again and says, not only you, you don't have this negative gene, yeah. so not only will it not pass on right. to your children, your right. grandchildren, and we're battling, is yeah. this where lion's cancer came from? But there's no sign of it anywhere, which means now we can treat you. So yeah. what we're saying is th we, the reason yeah. why we wrote, wrote yes. this book, and, and we're very honest in it. Yeah. We're very honest in it yeah. in that we're telling you because we know what you go yes, through absolutely. when you get these negative reports, yeah. your body, your health, your family, whatever. Right. We know what the logic says. Yeah. We teach you how to go through this because God is no respecter of persons. Let me read this. In Revelation chapter 12, 
It says, so the great dragon, the devil, was cast out. And the serpent of old called the devil Satan who deceives the world. He was cast down the earth and his angels were cast out with him. And then I heard a loud voice in heaven. This is for you. Now, mm. salvation. Amen. Now, yeah. strength. Yeah. And now Amen. the kingdom of our God yep. and now the power, I'm adding the now, and now the power of his Christ Amen. have come for the accuser of our brethren yeah. who accuses them or attacks them or assaults them yeah. before our God day and night has been cast down and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of the testimony. Amen. In ancient Hebrew, it teaches when you see or hear of a miracle, in someone's life, yeah. it's because you're next. And we feel like God didn't do this to us. We know no, God right, didn't do this, right. but he allowed us to go through this so yeah. we can stand with you yes. and say yes. now your salvation, Amen. your freedom, your miracle yes. is on Amen. its way. You know, the great uh, writer, Ellie Weissel, who survived the Holocaust camps. Wonderful guy. Oh, and he made a statement, he said, Whoever has gone through a test needs to tell their story. It is their duty. Yeah. And we felt that when we decided to write this book. Absolutely. Because what we know is that people go through challenges of every kind, every sort. And we've always tried to walk our people yes. through yes. life. And so we felt it was so important in this, whether you're going through cancer, sickness, disease, or just life in general, finances, family, we want to give you the hope that no matter how dark it seems, God's light and power can bring you through, release the miracles in your life, big or small, or miracles by the moment, whatever you need. And so we want to teach you how we got through this. Yes. Because it wasn't just boom, the next day. No. It was a journey. We saw giant miracles, the genes, those were incredible. That, that was instant miracles. Instant. Yeah. But then the life of walking it out took discipline, it took faith, and it took consistency. And so we taught last week, which I think is the heart and soul of it, is aligning our thoughts, our words, our actions, our vision right. with God's promises. Right. So that's why we put this together, so important. Yeah. God gave us a hundred scriptures. We live by that every morning. I would get under my tallit and I would repeat those scriptures, saturating my mind, my soul, my heart, and my body with the living word of God. Right. Because he promises these miracles. So we've given those to you so that you can do the same thing. Our thoughts, are everything. We have to guard our thoughts, guard our mind, because every issue flows out of that. Then our conversations, our words, we spoke about it last you week. Know, let me throw this in, and, and because the Bible says, guard your heart. Yes. And boy, when you hear these, these, uh, these negative, re you, you're, you're not, they're not being negative, they're just telling, telling you the, the facts. Yeah. And I, and, I, and I, when we were going through that, I couldn't help but think about how do, how do you guard your heart? And we talked about yeah. miracles by the moment. They, 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 they're telling you, here's the statistics, yeah. here's the facts. Yeah. And you have to guard your heart right. from those facts yeah. because out of the heart, yeah. as a man thinks in his heart, yeah. So is he. Yeah. So we teach you how to guard your Absolutely. thinking. How do, yeah. how do I, I, I know the Bible says down. cast down imaginations. Yeah. How do I cast down yes. imaginations? Guard your heart. I, as a man thinks in his heart, so yes. is he. The Bible says that, that we're, we're to put a guard on our mouth. Yeah. We're to, you're made. This is so important you understand this. You're made yeah. in the image of God. What does yeah. that mean? God speaks things yep. into existence. existence. God creates with Absolutely. his words. We talk to you about how when we're casting down imaginations, we would create yeah. the future. We're hearing negative things. We're creating the positive yep. with the power of our words. Yep. Now, we, we need to go to a break, and then I want you to come back and say this. But, you know, we were talking about this uh, in between the program, filming the programs. And 
together, yeah. tis we had, yeah. and we want you to, to receive this. Yes. Together we had yeah. each other. We had our children. We had our family. We've seen so many times in where the ladies are getting chemo or yeah. whatever, you don't have necessarily somebody right. with you. Right. And so this is one of the reasons. Tiz, yeah. Tiz taught two weeks on the miracles, but what she went through and how she went through them. Yes. And I have to tell you, people were texting me saying, Pastor, don't come back. We, we got Tiz. <laughs> they said, these are so powerful to get... But also, we confess these things yes. together. We had our staff, yeah. we had our church, we had our family. You, maybe you're going through right. something. Right. Tiz will read these, these yes. miracle scriptures. Yes. These yes. scriptures of the mind of God. Amen. So she's Amen. with you. You're not and alone. You're not no, alone. You're not and alone. man, I feel the Holy Ghost in that. How many people are saying, you know, I got family, but they're negative, or I got yeah. no family. Yeah. We don't want you to go uh -uh. through this alone. No. But let me say this as we go. The foundation of all this is two things. Number one, the blood of Jesus. And number two, God yes. said, the father of all blessings Absolutely. is Genesis yes. 12. I will bless yes. those who bless Israel. Amen. And when it came time for us to need a miracle, yeah. Yeah. I mean, life and death twice there's no there's no word in in the hebrew lang ancient hebrew language for coincidence not once not twice and yeah. we know that the reason why we've gone through this is one to help you but also to tell people yeah not once yes but twice amen two different miracles mm. taking a gene out putting a gene in that we can say to you, God yeah. can do something for you that no one's ever seen Amen. before. And the Amen. foundation of that is the blood of Jesus yeah. and I will bless yes. those who bless Amen. you. We're saving lives in yeah. Aliyah. We're saving lives in bomb shelters. Yeah. We're saving lives in the projects. We're feeding Holocaust. Yeah. One place that we're feeding Holocaust in one city, they thought they had a hundred Holocaust survivors. But when we got involved and said, listen, we'll, we'll yeah, be involved we'll with help. feeding them, it, it, it opened the door for more to be taken care of. They found out they had 1,200 Holocaust survivors that were all alone. Their family yeah. is gone from yeah. the Holocaust. You are literally yes. saving yes. lives. In Hebrew, it's called zechot, yep. merit. Yeah. So that when we're saving lives, Absolutely. God gets involved yeah. and saves your life. I, we got to go. Yep. We'll be right back. We're going to talk more about miracles by the moment. Your best yes. is yet to come. Being a blessing to Israel and to those who are most vulnerable is one of the greatest acts of kindness you could ever take part in. Today, Pastors Larry and Tiz are asking you to sow your very best offering to cover the Jewish people with a love of God and with tangible, practical support. Through Project Aliyah, we're helping save thousands of Jews from persecution and bringing them to their ancestral homeland of Israel. You're also providing ongoing care for Holocaust survivors, a massive bomb shelter renovation project for the elderly, and critical care for Jewish children who are suffering from PTSD due to ongoing terrorist attacks. If you can only give one charitable offering this month, we encourage you to make it count by blessing the nation of Israel. Today, when you sow an offering of any size, we want to say thank you by sending you two copies of the Huck's new book, Miracles by the Moment. This is their honest and encouraging account of how they tapped into God's promises to find hope and healing through their time of deepest need. Faith is not ignoring. Faith is not living in denial. I wasn't in denial that there was nothing going on. We weren't in denial with Baby Lion. We had some things to face and to back down and to fight against. We had to get aggressive in our faith like we never ever even dreamed of. In our lives, we didn't just ignore what was going on in the natural realm, but we rose above that and we conquered that in the spiritual realm. 
and we fought the good fight of faith, but we denied its right to rule and reign in our lives. We've made this a special keep one, give one offer so you can share the book with a friend. With your offering of $135 or more, we'll add Tiz's Miracles by the Moment audio series on three CDs. It includes her personal testimony of overcoming cancer, an anointed teaching on how to receive the miracle you need, and 101 healing scriptures read by Tiz. You will not allow on me any of the diseases that people fear but you will take all sickness away from me. Deuteronomy 7:15. These resources will inspire and encourage you in receiving your own miracle breakthrough. And because you get two copies, you can give one away as a gift. When you help us bless Israel with a generous offering of $500 or more, you'll receive everything already mentioned. And we'll include two of these very special Miracles by the Moment scripture boxes. Inside, you will find 101 scripture cards, which will be a daily reminder of God's power to heal and His promises for your future. Because you get two, you can give one to a friend in need. To be a blessing to Israel today and to receive your thank you gifts, simply dial our toll-free number at 800-978-8546. If you prefer, you can visit our secure website at LarryHuck.tv where you can donate and choose your gifts online. You can always choose to mail your offering to the ministry address on the screen. But the fastest way to be a blessing is to contact us by phone at 800-978-8546. God promises in Genesis chapter 12, verse 3, to bless those who bless Israel. If you can only give one charitable offering this month, we encourage you to sow it into blessing the nation of Israel. Thank you in advance for your generous support, for blessing the poor and fulfilling Bible prophecy. Now, let's rejoin Pastors Larry and Tiz. You know, when we're talking about Aliyah, yeah. literally saving people's lives, you know, in the last few months, with you, just with Ukraine, we've partnered with the nation of Israel yeah. in bringing, I think it's around 40,000 yes. Jews from yes. Ukraine and Russia. Because We're bringing you. Jews right now from Ethiopia. Amen. We're feeding Holocaust yeah. survivors so that the end of their lives is, is wonderful and peaceful and they don't have Amen. to think about Amen. anything. You know, when you think about that, you think about the scripture that says, I'm I'm young. I think it was King David that said, mm -hmm. "I was. Yeah. I've been young, and now I'm old, and I've never seen the righteous yes. forsaken." Right. And we immediately think right. the word righteous means Pure. those who are holy, and right. we are righteous Absolutely. because of the blood of Jesus. But when he says, "I've been young, and now I'm old, I've never seen the righteous forsaken," listen to what that means. That word righteous there means those who do acts of kindness yeah. towards others. And we saw this happen yeah. in our lives. Our, our Jewish friends were praying and saying, God, grant them zahut, grant them merit for save, saving lives. Yeah. Bless them for them yeah. being a blessing. And I know yeah. a thousand percent that is one of two main reasons Absolutely. why we received this miracle. Yeah. And I couldn't help but think, we have a great friend, many, many of you have seen him on Fox. He's just a brilliant, brilliant scholar, wonderful man. He's been our friend for 30 years, Rabbi Lappin. Yeah. And when they heard about Lion and Tiz, Rabbi and Susan flew in. Yeah. And he said these words to us. He said, if you guys were retired, yeah. I would be concerned right. about you. Yep. But because you yep. are partnering with God on a great <sighs> mission, I'm not worried about it. Yeah. And I think about that when, when you know, so many times when we get involved with a, a battle that may, many of you may be going through in so many ways, yeah. it, we, 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 we close in, but that's the time to yeah. reach out and be a blessing. Yes. And that's part of the miracle process that we write about yeah. in the book. Don't limit what God can do. Don't limit how God can do it. I, I call it the fist of faith. Yeah. To knock the devil That's out. Right. Don't That's limit right. what God can do. Don't Amen. limit how God can do it. We'll talk about more of that tomorrow. Yeah. But 
it, it wasn't Tiz, okay, we prayed and your cancer was gone and Lion's cancer was gone. We literally, for three years, walk through seeing miracles, miracles by, the moment. by the moment. That's why we named the book this. And I just want to say one more time, the reason that we created this artwork this way is because to show the contrast of light and dark. And in the darkest of times, God's spirit will pierce that darkness and bring his light. Yes. And that's what we saw happen over and over and over again. So I know we've talked about so much and there's so much more to say, but I really want to hit on something that's so important to me is a scripture I've used for years and that's Psalms 34, three through five. It says, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt mm. his name together. Mm. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant and their faces were unashamed. Yes. So I've taught on that for years in that when we're facing a trial or we're facing life and its issues, we tend to want to focus on the problems. Right. We wake up in the morning, the right. first thing that consumes our mind is all of those issues. And so what we've made a point to do is immediately when we wake up in the morning, the first thing we literally do is to look up and magnify God, to set God in his rightful throne in our lives. Before we focus on our to-do list, focus on who he, he is list. Yeah, in Hebrew, that's called Moldeani. Exactly. You, and before we, your feet hit the ground exactly. in a physical journey, yeah. before you even get out of bed, you say, yeah. Moldeani, I give you praise. Amen. Because God is a good God exactly. and God has a wonderful, and before your mind starts yeah. getting bo being bombarded Ooh. with the chemo and yeah. the yeah. blood tests and that's all of them, exactly. or the bank or whatever, yeah. you start your day off yeah. praising him. And, and, and honestly, when I woke up in the mornings, first thing, it's like, oh, is this still going on? Yeah. <laughs> and so I would pull those thoughts into captivity and, and make that point. Nope, I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on how great my God is. Yes, I'm still dealing with this, but our God is on the throne. That's right. And I would focus in on that. And that word magnify, if you think of it in the literal terms, we have magnifying glasses all over our house. Larry has binos, telescopes. But what that does is it takes something that's far away and foggy and it brings it into clarity and depth and perspective right. and enlarges it. And so when you magnify God and who he is, it just overrides all of those doubts and fears and the realities in the natural realm. And it pulls God's supernatural realm into clarity and makes it larger yeah. than what you're facing. It's a, it's the same thought of is that sometimes we feel like we're out of the vision of yeah, God, yeah. but God's magnification right. of his love for us, it draws us in and he is watching Absolutely. out for us. Absolutely, amen. amen. 30 seconds, finish this. 30 seconds. So I love the part, we look unto him and we exalt his names. And I'd like to talk next week about the names of God. Yes. Because the names of God tell us the nature of God. Yes. And that's where a lot of people get hung up. Does God care? Does he know? Absolutely. Can he? And his names assure us of how great he is and how personal he is. Amen. We're going to talk to you more tomorrow. We're going to stay with us because Tiz, want, Tiz and I want to cover you with our faith. Amen. You know, absolutely. Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. Yeah. And that's why we wrote the book. That's why Tiz did the scriptures so that you can be speaking yes. it with her. Amen. You're not alone. You're not alone. We're going to cover you when we come back. Amen. Because God has a miracle for you now. Yes. Or maybe a miracle by the moment. Amen. We'll be right back. Amen. Being a blessing to Israel and to those who are most vulnerable is one of the greatest acts of kindness you could ever take part in. Today, Pastors Larry and Tiz are asking you to sow your very best offering to cover the Jewish people with the love of God and with tangible, practical support. Through Project Aliyah, we're helping save thousands of Jews from persecution and bringing them to their ancestral homeland of Israel. 
You're also providing ongoing care for Holocaust survivors, a massive bomb shelter renovation project for the elderly, and critical care for Jewish children who are suffering from PTSD due to ongoing terrorist attacks. If you can only give one charitable offering this month, we encourage you to make it count by blessing the nation of Israel. Today, when you sow an offering of any size, we want to say thank you by sending you two copies of the Huck's new book, Miracles by the Moment. This is their honest and encouraging account of how they tapped into God's promises to find hope and healing through their time of deepest need. With your offering of $135 or more, we'll add Tiz's Miracles by the Moment audio series on three CDs. It includes her personal testimony of overcoming cancer, an anointed teaching on how to receive the miracle you need, and 101 healing scriptures read by Tiz. You will not allow on me any of the diseases that people fear, but you will take all sickness away from me. Deuteronomy 7, 15. These resources will inspire and encourage you in receiving your own miracle breakthrough. And because you get two copies, you can give one away as a gift. When you help us bless Israel with a generous offering of $500 or more, you'll receive everything already mentioned. And we'll include two of these very special Miracles by the Moment scripture boxes. Inside, you will find 101 scripture cards, which will be a daily reminder of God's power to heal and His promises for your future. Because you get two, you can give one to a friend in need. To be a blessing to Israel today and to receive your thank you gifts, simply dial our toll-free number at 800-978-8546. If you prefer, you can visit our secure website at larryhuck.tv where you can donate and choose your gifts online. You can always choose to mail your offering to the ministry address on the screen. But the fastest way to be a blessing is to contact us by phone at 800-978-8546. God promises in Genesis chapter 12, verse 3, to bless those who bless Israel. If you can only give one charitable offering this month, we encourage you to sow it into blessing the nation of Israel. Thank you in advance for your generous support, for blessing the poor and fulfilling Bible prophecy. Now, let's rejoin Pastors Larry and Tiz. Psalms 115, 12 tells us that God has us on His mind right now. Yes. And I want you to know, you are not alone. That's right. Not only does God have you on His mind and thinking about you, but He has already worked out the solutions the promises and the miracles that you need in your life. And not only has God got you on his mind, but you're on our mind yes, and our heart. Absolutely. And we are standing with you. So lift your hands to, with us. Yes. And Father, we come into agreement right now that every curse is broken. Every spirit that would come against our lives is broken in Jesus' name. And God, your plans, your purposes, your will, your promises, blessings and miracles are released into our lives right now in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. We love you so Amen. much. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye.